Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 23rd, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the X class solar flare that shot off from the outgoing region on the sun. Large X3 solar flare instantly putting us into solar radiation storms. Strong. R3 radio blackouts detected. This is a look at the moment that the X-class solar flare erupted from the northeast region, top right region. We also have incoming and earth-facing coronal holes, which will increase our solar winds. Geomagnetic instability expected over the next 72 hours and forward as these turn in for the earth-facing party. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Some amazing images here of our sun today. And thank you so much for pressing play and being a part of this family. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you are enjoying all the information and imagery shared here. Much love, and I, I appreciate all of the love and support in the community, in the chats, and on the videos. We're going to be at 90,000 here very soon. Please like and share today. So right now, only the strong X-class solar flare to deal with. No new coronal mass ejections detected. Having a look at sunspot regions in motion, as there are nine of them right now. A couple of them are primed. So nine Earth-facing sunspots right here ranging from 3993 to 4006, 4000 and 3998. Keeping an eye on those, but they are turning away, so stay tuned. Current space weather conditions, strong R3 radio blackout impacts, wide area blackout of high frequency radio detected. Solar winds are coming in at 341 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here. The X solar flare and as well strong M-class solar flare detected yesterday. Another minor M-class today. So three strong solar flares in the past 24 hours. Proton flux is still pretty static. And geomagnetic activity is low. This is a look at the most recent Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Bottom showing the incoming coronal hole wind streams. And no new CMEs to tell. Tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's will be more prevalent tomorrow. And then looking at the, the last 24 hours for earthquakes, we've had some deep ones. And as well, a strong 6.0 earthquake in the Solomon Islands. Lata, Solomon Islands, 6.0. As well, Gizo, Solomon Islands, 5.6 with some pretty strong aftershocks through the region. This area is hopping right now. Deep earthquakes, deepest past 24 hours, 559. Tonga region through to Kermadex, ready to pop. Who knows, because there's lots of energy shifting around all the plates right now. A lot of activity through Japan. Taiwan, maybe a little hot spot right now. And as well, Krakatoa earthquakes through southern um, Sumatra, western Indonesia, as well Myanmar with a 4.3, Germ Afghanistan with a 4.2, and it's all of a sudden gone quiet through the Mediterranean after seeing more than 13,000 earthquakes in a three-week three period. A lot of people worried about possible eruptions. Carrying on here, Ecuador with a 4.8, 4.7 there, Costa Rica, Caribbean plate, pretty busy today. But north into the Juan de Fuca, North American plate's been quiet, no new earthquakes, but interesting and notable earthquakes have been happening. Pacific Northwest and up into BC, and even Alberta, Canada. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers. 
around the world. All of the elevated rings are the, showing the depth of the earthquakes. All these deep earthquakes triangulating into the West Pacific. Heads up, Papua New Guinea. And as I said, through the Mediterranean, things have calmed down. Eruption at Iceland with a 5.1 earthquake yesterday. And we have an active and erupting 76 volcanoes across the planet. Stay tuned. Volcanic activity report will be coming soon. But have a look at the SO2 plume coming from eastern Russia. Kamchatka saw some pretty sizable eruptions. And as well, the Kuril Islands south of Kamchatka. Even the Aleutian Islands. Looking here for the three-day forecast showing all the active and large SO2 plumes. Mexico, Hawaii, Aleutian Islands, Alaska, and as well Kamchatka, Russia. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. No new notable plumes to, to speak of. We did have sizable eruptions at Mount Etna three days in a row creating new cascading lava falls down the mountain of Etna. Amazing times to be alive and I'm grateful to have you here. But heads up through the North Pacific right now. Things are brewing and as well the West Pacific for earthquakes. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got some Alberta clippers coming this week. Will be affecting Ontario and parts of eastern Canada. Most of the systems will be coming from the north until Wednesday into Thursday. Colorado low, mixing with an Alberta clipper in the long range, could create a strong system for the Atlantic provinces and as well, big system brewing through central United States. Winter is not over yet. Cold temperatures will be back but it's going to warm up a little bit in between. Overlooking Africa, Australia, New Zealand. Strong system affecting parts of southern Madagascar. And then a cyclone affecting eastern parts of Australia. Now watch as this thing comes into land. Forecasting to come into land Wednesday the 5th of March. And then trek northward. So very strange forecast here for parts of Australia and as well New Zealand. This cyclone here was forecast to go to New Zealand yesterday and all of a sudden it's changed. High pressure ridge builds in with this forecast. Heads into New South Wales and then heads north but then another strong system develops here. Long range forecast for New Zealand. Going to leave you here looking at the North Pacific showing oh, multiple low pressure systems. Coming in this week, it's going to be a wet and wild week from Oregon and northward and into Alaska. Heavy snowfall amounts. Still some very strong winter storms out there. And we've still got at least a month of winter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due.